So, David, what university are you from, what country are you from, and what's your project? Um, I am studying at the University of Washington Foster Business School, doing the MBA, evening MBA program. Uh, I'm originally from Ghana in West Africa. Uh, my project, well, my team's project is uh, it's about online pay station. Uh, the, the idea is to enable people in cash-based economies, which unfortunately happens to be in Africa a lot, uh, enable them benefit from the online deals that you and I benefit from in the United States. So uh, I'm not certain that I completely understand. Uh, how, do, how are they able to get on, online if, they're, if the cash business is what they're used to, do, to dealing with? So think, uh, the, the idea is, uh, is to promote e-commerce, basically. And, and to, promote, to undertake e-commerce, you need, number one, you need online access. You need internet access. And then above that, you need access to some means to complete online transaction. You need either a credit card or a debit card or some online bank transactions. In most of Africa, well, I wouldn't say most, but in, in at least in Ghana, where we're focusing on, internet access is, is there. I mean, you wouldn't find it. You wouldn't find internet access uh, a lot in private homes, but there is a lot of internet cafes uh, where people go and pay maybe a cent or something, you know, and then they can browse, you know, for for several hours. So internet access is there. Unfortunately, what that means is that they can see the goods and services that you and I see. They see things about Black Friday. They see online deals and all that. But because they lack credit cards, they lack bank accounts, they lack uh, debit cards, they're not able to, to take advantage of those deals. So it sounds like what you're describing is you're kind of a, a combination of an internet service provider and a bank at the same time. Is that right? Kind of. Uh, so the our business model uh, has it that would partner with internet service, uh, internet cafes. So you're partially right. Uh, we would also partner with banks to just to, to enable us to do uh, bank to bank transactions. You know, so that's how we would pay the American or the European merchants that we buy the goods and services from. So there will be those partnerships, but we're not taking over either. We're not playing in any of those fields. We'll just be a broker. So it would be a broker between the consumer, the retailer, which could be any of the existing global retailers, or some of the local African retailers that we would help put their goods and services online. And then would also, part, I mean, bring them together with the banks and, and other financial institutions and the shipping companies to, to en ensure that uh, goods and services get to the people that they need to get to in Africa. Um, one of the big parts of the Global Social Entrepreneurship Competition is to create employment. So how many employees do you think, either employees or entrepreneurs, do you think that your proposed business creates? It's huge. It is, I, I, I can't even start to give you numbers. I mean, I can start to, 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 tell, to, give, to tell you the ripple effect that, that, that we're gonna be having. So, number one, we're, talk, we think we're talking about going to have our own, our own satellite, our own pilot locations where we'll start, we'll start a business. Um, and then number two, we'll franchise it out to these internet cafes that are already there. What does that tell you? More business for them. So they can go ahead and employ more people. Okay. Beyond that, we are also looking at helping local businesses who today, today are limited to, uh, they are limited in reach to only the geographical areas that they are because there's nothing like, they don't have online access. So if, if, if I'm a retailer, if I'm a business and I sell furniture or I sell art, arts and crafts or I sell electronic stuff and I'm, I'm based in Seattle, it's only the people in like my 10 block radios that could come to my store that I can reach, right? We are going to help, we're helping those people get online so that, I mean, immediately overnight they just expand their reach, okay? They start selling more goods, Manuf whoever manufactures their goods for them start manufacturing more, a lot more people get jobs, okay? Uh, the, the other thing, the primary thing that we're also helping with is the fact that because people in 
developing people in cash-based economies are not able to shop online, like I said previously, they, they are not able to benefit on the online deals that you and I benefit from. So I'll give you an example. Um, a textbook, textbook, uh, this is physics textbook. Most people in Africa would recognize it's called, it's Abbott. It's a physics textbook by this British writer called Abbott. Online, either through Amazon, Amazon or eBay or whatever, you could get from used to new, no more than $30. I mean, unless you go to one of those rogue websites where you pay more. But in Ghana, you, 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 you're likely to end up paying more than twice that. And, and that's mainly because you, number one, you don't have a lot of options. It's probably one or two bookshop, bookstores around. In fact, to start with, you, you're even very lucky if you can find it on the local market. Right. So if someone that is used to buying these books at, at $60 suddenly can buy it at $30, you release an extra $30 that they can use to buy other things and, and, and spare commerce, I mean, increase commercial activity in Africa. What, what, what does that bring? Again, more people get jobs, the economy rises. Um, I, have, I have a strong aversion to a lot of the, um, some of the other plans I've seen, and, and basically some of the, 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 the type of help that the West pushes to Africa, in the sense that it targets, it, it very, very, they're very well intentioned, but it targets the bottom of the pyramid, okay? And it's very good. I mean, but, but, but I, think, I think Africa is getting to a point where nobody in the world needs you to come help them build toilets and, and bathrooms and you know what I mean? What the world needs across the globe is commerce. Help me do business. Help me create more jobs. I develop my economy and my people. I mean, if you lift an entire economy up, it doesn't matter whether you're up there you're, middle, uh, uh, you're, you're in the middle, middle tier of the, of the pyramid or you're at the bottom of the pyramid. Everyone gets lifted up. Well, a startup businesses have a lot of issues. If there's barriers to entry to startup businesses, what's the biggest barrier to entry for you? Biggest barrier? Capital. Capital. And, and here's why. The market is there. We know that. Uh, if I could digress a little bit, it's, it's something that informally people like myself are already doing. Okay, and it would amaze you how much more people are willing to pay in these supposedly poor countries for things that you and I get for cheap in the United States. So it, it, the, the market is there. Okay, what's left, and, and, and the plan is there. I'm, like I said, I'm doing it, Other, others are doing it in, on the informal basis. We, we know what, what it takes to get it done. Uh, I just need the capital to, to formalize it, to, to, to spread, you know, to um, spread our reach, you know. So you're from the University of Washington, at least for the purposes of the competition. Uh, has the Global Social Entrepreneurship Competition been good for you and your team? Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, it, I mean, the good and the bad combined has been very good for me personally. Um, I've learned a lot. I've met a lot of nice people, good people from across the world. Uh, but most importantly, the, uh, the, the GSEC program has a coaching, you know, a, an extended coaching program from when you get shortlisted all the way up to when you, I mean, the, the competition starts. And, and it's just wonderful, it's just wonderful. I mean, we got paired with uh, very, very wonderful people. Uh, Steve, uh, Steve is my, was my coach. And he's, he's, just, he's just awesome. Yeah. David, thank you very much.